You're watching the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite disassembly. First go ahead and pop out the SIM tray. Next go ahead and heat the back up using a hair dryer or a blow dryer so you can heat up the adhesive underneath and loosen it up so it'll make it easier to pry off. Then use your plastic pry tool to work around the edges of the back plate and pry the back plate off. Here's a closer look at the back plate. So at this point you can see the S Pen or the stylus right here inside the housing. We're gonna pop that out and remove it. There's 15 Phillips screws you need to remove. Go ahead and remove those. Now that the screws are removed, we're gonna remove the top plastic cover. So here's the back of the plastic cover. And it looks like this is the NFC antenna right here. Makes a connection right there with the board. Those gold contacts right there. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery cable located right here. Pop it up. And let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. You have a couple of wire cables located over here. Disconnect those. Your power button and volume key cable is located right here. Put that up. And we're going to disconnect the front facing camera. There is one Phillips screw holding down the main board. It's located next to your earpiece. Go ahead and remove that. Now we can lift up and remove the main board. So your SIM reader is located right over here. You also have some graphite film over here on the back side of the board. Your cameras are connected here. They're on this metal bracket, which you would need to pry off from the backboard to remove them. So the wide angle camera, as well as the telephoto camera right here, both have image stabilization and your flash is located right here. Your ultra wide camera over here does not have image stabilization. The Note 10 Lite has a fairly large 3D copper vapor chamber located right here. You also have a liquid damage indicator located right here. This white sticker right there is underneath the SIM slot. Now we're gonna remove the bottom speaker assembly. So here's the speaker assembly. We're gonna disconnect this cable leading from the main board to the sub board, which is a charger port board down here. Your fingerprint reader is located right here and it's connected over here on the charger port board. We're going to disconnect that. There's also two Phillips screws holding down the fingerprint reader. Disconnect the screen cable. And there's two wire cables as well. You have one Phillips screw holding on the charger port board. Go ahead and remove that. Here's a closer look at that. Alright, now in order to remove the battery, there's some strong adhesive or glue underneath it. So you're gonna have to heat the phone up a little bit, and then you're gonna have to use something like a membership card or something plastic that's thin enough to fit underneath the back of the battery. And you're gonna have to work your way in and gently craft the battery. I'm telling you, I took this part once already and it's pretty difficult. Here's the battery. 
So now you're left with the mid-frame. The screen that's attached to the mid-frame. If you ever wanted to replace that, you just have to heat the front of the phone and pry off the screen, apply new adhesive, put your new screen back over and just reverse the process. You also have your vibrator motor located here, your earpiece right here, and your cable for your power button and volume keys right here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. Now once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive on the back of the phone, put your back plate back over. Turn the phone over, power it on, and you're done. Thanks again for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.